Hey, welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back. Hey, I just want to take a quick moment. Now that I've made this uh, the second version of the landing gear, uh, it's getting shipped out to guys. Some guys are having it installed, and I think overall everybody's extremely, extremely happy with it so far. I know I am. I think it's 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 good. It's really, really good. I made some changes to it, uh, but the main thing I want to go over everybody with is the basic installation and how this looks when it's installed, and a couple modifications I've even made to it that uh, are simple modifications that you guys can make if you decide to make them uh, and it'll just help, you out, help your landing gear operate a little bit better. But anyway, let's go and switch this around and let's show you how this is installed, how it operates, and uh, keep this video extremely short. All right, awesome. See you at the kayak. All right, so first things first, I just wanna show you guys basically how this looks on the kayak. Uh, like I said, this is landing gear similar to the boondocks soon to the native series also that that where whether if you have a native kayak you can store that in the back of your kayak i just wanted something that i needed lots of space that i could just throw in the back of the kayak put them in store mode and keep on rolling so this is what i've created when you order the kayak what you're going to get is one you're going to get a 10 inch tire uh that's inflatable you can inflate it deflate it inflate it however you want to inflate it you're going to get the nuts bolts and washers that go into the end of this here uh, they will come pre-installed in the kit inside the tire to show you how they go on here. The main thing is make sure these tires are installed to the inside of this conduit, not to the outside. It alleviates pressure from the conduit. Um, then when you come up here, you've got a 30 inch piece of conduit that's bent on a 45 degree angle. From this point here to this point down here, you have about nine inches of a bent, a bent conduit. So I don't know what else to say. But anyway, then when you come up to here, this is what the kayak looks in stored position, right? Then here, you've got a 3D printed part, which is your, your top brace. It's going to go with two 6 millimeter by 1 by 40 millimeter set screws, two washers. It's going to come with a steel plate underneath of there, which is going to stop this bracket from breaking. I made a lot of changes to this, and I pretty honestly, I think that I've actually sent out almost all the replacements for whoever had broken pieces already but this is the new setup and it works really really well this here is also a 3d printed part it's got an inch and a half inch clevis pin held together with a couple zip ties here and of course on the pin on the front and then if you come across you're going to have a clevis pin here at the top also this clevis pin here is one additional that i've actually put in mind just to hold it in the up position you don't have to have that there i had an extra hole in here when i was just experimenting with with different things and that's there but if you can see this hole here that's actually the hole that you're going to put your kayak in or the clevis pin in when this is in the down position one modification that i've made to this is this i've actually installed a little t-bracket on here and if i take this back attack black pack off of my kayak if you look at what I've done, I've just simply put a screw there. So I put a T-bracket that I got from Lowe's, painted it black, I put a screw there, and then I have a what they call a, a uh, wing nut on the inside of it to give it some stability. And what this is doing, this is stopping the, this bar here from rotating at all. Um, I noticed that there's a lot of pressure when the kayak's in the down position, and that right there is stopping any type of rotation whatsoever. And that's a simple $3 mod that you can make it's not necessary to make, but if you want to make it, you are welcome to make it. Now, one point of note are these. Make sure that you install these with the washers under the pins and that this is extremely tight. You don't want it so tight that you're pulling the lot that the you're not pulling the set set nuts out of the kayak, but you want it tight enough where it's keeping pressure on this to where this is not going to rotate and it keeps this nice and tight and down. Now I'm a um and that's for the most part. The other side is the exact same thing. If you look over there, you got the wheel, you've got the conduit, and you've got the top piece and the brackets. It's the same thing. Now, one thing that's cool that I found out is, is that if you do happen to have this in, in the store position where you're kayaking, your paddle sits really conveniently on top, and the paddle goes down to the front of the boat, and you don't lose your paddle as much. Um, I had a problem when I first went out a couple times, my paddle fell off. Of the kayak but since i've made this i just set this on top of there when i'm storing it and when i'm on the water and have no issues whatsoever so i'm gonna flip this around real quick i'm gonna go to the other camera and i'm gonna show you guys how simple this is all right cool so real quick i just want to show you guys how to operate this once it is installed and set up properly that way you guys understand how to do it and it's very easy once you have this installed in your kayak the 3d printed parts 
um, in this clevis pin, when it's in the stored position, it is sitting right here. There's no need for a clevis pin in here if you don't want one. If you want an X one for extra stability, you can drill your hole through your square tubing up here. You can put a 5 16 clevis pin in it and you're good to go. I don't have one in mine. I don't think it's really necessary to be honest with you. But if you wanted that extra, I don't know, support on the conduit, I guess you can have it. But anyway, once you get to the water, uh, that's another thing. When, I would not transport these in this position to the water. I usually take mine out and I put them up in the front in front of the seat and I just kind of angle them in and I push the seat forward a little bit and that holds them securely when I'm going back and forth to the water. Once I get to where I'm going to be kayaking at, then I'll take them out and I'll put them in here just like that. I'll take them out of the front of the kayak, just like so. Put them in here and just let it sit. And then when you get down to the water, when you're ready to take it to the water, then of course you're going to put them in this position here. Pull it out, slide the, the prac piece of in. Make sure that clevis pin there goes all the way in that groove. Take your carter, your clevis pin here, slide that into the opening or the hole there. It's going to go in, and now you're in the tow position. Grab the front of your kayak and roll on. Of course, you have to do it with both sides, but this is what it looks like. Then when you get down to the water, I'm going to take this clevis pin back out, pull this back out again, slide this up, make sure that goes in there, and you're good to go. Easy. No problems whatsoever. But if, if, once again, if you have any questions whatsoever about this landing gear, please hit me up. You can message me. Uh, you're more than welcome to get me up on Facebook, on YouTube, on the Etsy page. Uh, However you want to reach out to me, man. You can reach out to me on Facebook, on the forums, and the messages. And however you want to reach out to me. I've even given guys that have ordered this my cell phone number. If you just want to call me, text me, have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever. I mean, if you want to brag about it and how good it's working, let me know that too. But I'm really excited about this system and how the system is working now. I've took it out on the water probably six to eight times. I've had no issues whatsoever with it. Um, as long as you're gentle with it. And that's another thing. You just want to make sure that you're using this as a cart. It's not a four-wheel drive vehicle, if that makes sense. Um, nobody's done, none, nobody that I know has done anything rough with it. Um, but this is Conduit. Conduit's a very soft steel, so you have to be very gentle with it, which is why I made this internal piece here, which before I had the holes going through here, if you can see. And these holes are reaming out a little bit on the Conduit. But since I put this 3D printed part in here and made this at 100% infill, drilled a hole through the top of this, this is now supporting the conduit, and I've had no problems whatsoever. So it makes sense. But just make sure that you're taking this, using this landing gear to take your boat from your truck or from your car, from your Jeep, whatever you have, from there to the water, and then you're putting it, putting it in the store position, and then you're having a good day fishing, kayaking, whatever you're doing. Then you put it, when you bring it back out of the water, you put it back into the down position, roll it back to the truck, Jeep, whatever you have, and then bring it on home. Very easy. Anyway, thanks again. Reach out if you have any questions whatsoever, and I'll talk to you guys soon.